Welcome to Learning Mall. This is lesson number two in our series, Multiplication for Kids. This one we want to focus on the tools that you might want to use if you're exploring multiplication as repeated addition with your child. And we talked about um, using practical, actual physical objects to help with repeated addition. We're now going to talk about using a number line and how that can help with repeated addition. Because as I've said before in previous lessons, number lines are a great tool. Again, I have produced my own number line because I can put whatever numbers I want on there, which is great. And all you need is a pen and paper, which is great. You can actually even get your child to design their own number lines. Um, and that can be really fun as well. So basically what I've done is I've just written a multiplication calculation. And what you would want to be then doing is talking to your child about, well, what does that calculation actually mean? And what you'll be wanting to do is to ascertain from them that they understand that four times five is the same as four groups of five or four lots of five, which is the same as five plus five plus five plus five. What happens then is if you do want to get your child actually starting to solve some of these calculations is you might want to then provide them with a number line to help them calculate the answer to that. And what you'll be encouraging your child to do is actually to jump in steps of five. If they can't count in fives yet, that's fine because a number line will really help them out with that. So what you'll be wanting to do is to get your child starting at one and you'll be getting them their first group of five. Hopefully they'll be able to just go straight for one jump to five at this beginning stage. If not, and they have to count one, two, three, four, five, sometimes children need that wee bit of security. That's absolutely fine. So you will do your first jump, which will be five to five. And what you'll be telling your child is that's one lot of five. So you can even, if you want, actually let your children score off the fives as they're going along. And again, all that visual representation really allows them to think through the process in their um, little brains. So I'm just going to cross off one of my fives because I've done one jump of five. If your child can't count in fives and they're a wee bit stuck now, all you need to tell them is, well, you have to do another jump of five. So you can count another five. One, two, three, four, five. What did you land on? Ten. Okay, so take your love, your next jump to ten. Again, this is perfect for children that are still struggling to count in steps or haven't actually got to that stage yet. This is what, why a number line is so perfect. Again, we want to give your child the tools to help them think through this process. So... We've now got two, so we can score another five off up here. So we've done two jumps, okay, and we're at 10. This is where you can have a really nice discussion with your child as well, have them maybe do a bit of prediction. What do you think two jumps for 10? What do you think four jumps will be? If your child is a bit more advanced, you can start talking about doubles and um, developing that idea with them. Really, the world your oyster here. You can take lots of time to actually just discuss through the process. So you need to do another jump of five. So again, if they can count in fives, great. If they can't, one, two, three, four, five. Score your jump off up here. So now you've done your three jumps of five. And then one more jump of five. One, two, three, four, five. Gets you to 20. So my answer is four times five is 20 and they can actually count all that on their number line and see it again the same with three times two i would be tempted to start very very easily with your child for this and um, you don't want to give them calculations like seven times nine or anything and um, start with the lower numbers and actually number lines are more suitable for those lower numbers but it, it's just giving them the means to understand the process so quickly again we would do three times two so you would do your one jump to two cross it off Two jumps to two, cross it off, another two jumps, cross it off, and they would hopefully come to their answer of six. So just another really great tool if you want to move from that practical physical idea of repeated addition to actually doing something that's still practical but is starting to incorporate those numbers and those calculations in.